morning everyone welcome to my channel I'm John and uh, what we're going to be doing is swapping this for this yes you guessed it we're going to be replacing the thermostat so without further ado let's get on with it here we'll have to remove the plastic cover Just down there is where our thermostat lives. There's one bolt there, another bolt down there, and another bolt just there. And they're eight millimeter. But I find it easier to take this out of the way and take this out of the way. So let's remove this hose first. I will also remove the dipstick as well because it's in the way a bit. Put it over there, safe. And this is where we need the long nose pliers. Just squeeze the clip. And pull on the pipe. Push that down out of the way. Where the long pliers come in useful. Put them on the clip. Pull the clip back. There we go. And hopefully we can pull off the hose. If it doesn't want to pull off, just uh, use your grips and give it a whittle. underneath the car to catch the antifreeze. So if we slacken this one off first. Here we go. Here we can do this top one. And hopefully you can just about see the bottom one in there. We should be able to pull our thermostat out. Here we go. Oh, you notice this thermostat is all being cut out, but I'll explain that later. So we just need to get this rubber off. Because my new one didn't come with a new rubber. So just uh, wind that around there. So, and then hopefully we can uh, reinsert our thermostat. Okay then, so at this point the batteries went flat in the Ooh. microphone. So now I'm just going to have to narrate over the top of the video. So now we can offer it up to the uh, thermostat hole. It would be quite an easy job if we'd have had a new rubber, but we've still got the old rubber and it's a bit spongy a bit too big so it's going to be a bit fiddly trying to get it back in so just persevere and you will succeed in the end okay so now we're happy that that is in nice and flush and nice and level we can put the uh, outer casing back on try to keep the flange part of the hose housing pushed firmly against the rubber seal so the rubber seal can't move and then insert your bolts one at a time. Okay, so that's all the bolts in, finger tight. 
and I will just pinch them up with the ratchet. Don't do them too tight because obviously this is plastic. Right then, so now we can fit the bottom hose back on. Just push it on as far as it will go. And once that is back on, we can now uh, put the little hose back on at the top. Get the pointed pliers and uh, squeeze our clip and just push the rubber hose on. This can be a bit tricky as well sometimes. Then once it's on all the way, Make sure the clip is on in the right place, nicely in the middle of the pipe. And then don't forget to put the uh, dipstick back in if you have taken it out. So that's it, job done. Now all we have to do is fill it up with the specified coolant. Okay, this is the antifreeze I use. I've got two of these for £11.99, believe it or not. And now they have gone up by ten pound. So let's get two of those because I think it is about uh, six something, six point something liters in uh, Mondale, and there's only five in there. So you will need two of these at least, and then you've got a bit to keep topping up. Yes, before I forget, uh, I've got to tell you about this. That basically that was on there sawn those two off there which was attached to there basically because as you know that part has the rubber wash around it and uh, as some of you know that my Mondeo was on the back of the truck because it had broken down on the motorway and the guy told me it's probably the thermostat or the water pump so obviously I thought yes first thing to do is the thermostat so I took the thermostat casing off took this out put it in the hot water get it the hot water test it wasn't working at all so rather than just going buy a new one I thought well if it's blocking the water back from the radiator then why not just cut it off put that back in with the washer on it so that's what I did or uh, took it for a long run Obviously the uh, heater just got no hot air blowing through warm in the car up and the temperature needle was just on off all the way. Uh, but no overheating and uh, no water loss. So with that I went and bought the new thermostat that you've just seen me fitted. So wish me luck that that is just the problem. So there you go, one Mondeo thermostat fitted. Hope it's been of some use to you Mondeo lovers. So anyway, thanks for watching. Stay well, stay safe. And you've just watched Road Road Restore.